Susanna had pointed out that Hancock was hoping to promote dyslexia awareness through the popular program. Do you know what? I feel sorry for the guy, she commented. Because I wonder whether this is one of the biggest risks H is taking. It just gives everybody the opportunity to have a go at him, but he has an important and rather noble reason. Well yes, his children or one of his children has dyslexia, Andrew cut in. I thought it was Matt Hancock himself who had been diagnosed, the presenter added. Well maybe, but how much is that going to compensate? Asked Andrew. He went on, it would all be about. You're a complete what's it head, your AD asterisk head. Can I say that? No, you can't say that. Susanna quickly responded as the journalist remarked. Well, I've said it, now. Apologies for that, Susanna told viewers as her co-star continued the debate. The British way is we knock people down and then we see, and H is going to be knocked down, but will he have the strength and the personality? Ed asked. No, he won't get up. No, the Daily Mail journalist responded. He predicted Hancock would become the laughing stock of the reality show. H is the laughing stock and will be the laughing stock, he argued. Unless he succeeds, Ed commented, which Andrew responded to with an exasperated sigh. People will be torn whether to keep him in and humiliate him. I feel sorry for the bugs, but making him eat the bugs, or have him out straight away, Kevin remarked. People are going to be torn because H is going to be tortured on TV every night by voters who are angry with him. And there's going to be some people in the jungle who will have had bad experiences because of COVID, Andrew stated. We know that Charlene White did, yeah, Susanna pointed out. Good Morning Britain airs weekdays from 6am on ITV. Thank you.